So just the last couple of years, we've started doing this 90 day plan thing. So I'll say, okay, in the next 90 days, and I just open a document on Dropbox so that my husband and I share it. And we'll say 90 days, what are we gonna get done? And we'll just put the things that we feel like are causing us the most pain in our lives. Like the things that are just driving us crazy that we just keep putting off and keep putting off. So that might be part of things that, that we add to the list. And then there are also some things that are like goals that we wanted to do. Um, so those might be financial, they might be spiritual, they might be familial. You know, maybe you have one kid that's just driving you crazy and you're like, we really need to get that kid evaluated or we need to, you know, spend a little more time with them or whatever, you know, whatever the, the thing is. So the long term, the short term, those 90 day goals have been really helpful. I know one of the other things that you said was, um, where are you feeling the pain? Where are you feeling friction yes. in your life? And because that's a big indicator of where you might need to make a change. Yes. And even simple things, and I know this has nothing to do with photography, but uh, one of the things that I found really, really helpful in my life was having a cleaning lady. And I know that sounds like so bougie and like whatever, but she's actually really affordable. But that was so helpful to, I realized I could be making more money selling portraits and I could cleaning my toilets and that every Tuesday I can come home and my house is completely clean. Now that might not be something that's so valuable to somebody else, but that's something that that was a friction for me with as many kids as we had to just that I didn't have to worry about that. Once a week I knew like like with all those boys the toilets were clean once a week. It was awesome, you know. And then in your business, what are the things that you that something that's just constantly driving you crazy? whether it's something in your workflow, um, maybe a lab that you're dealing with is not delivering the way they should and they're constantly late and you just don't wanna to have to go find a new lab. It's just those little things that just on a daily basis drive you crazy and if you can fix that one thing, it, it's, not the, it's usually not the big things, it's those little tiny ticky tacky things that can help you move forward. I love this conversation. I, I read recently that we tend to overestimate the things we can accomplish in a year and underestimate the things that we can accomplish in 10 years. Yes. And if you're a creative person, you love the big, like most of us like uh, didn't study for any tests until the night before. And then because we were creative and thinkers, we could probably, you know, pull it out at the last minute and do okay. But then as you get um, older and you get into a business, you realize there is value in, in doing things a little bit at a time, realizing it's not going to happen overnight. Um, that you know, I know instant gratification takes too long, but some things just aren't instantaneous, and they're going to take a long period of time. And if we can be okay with that, then we're going to do we'll, we'll do better if we can just accept that.